So I already did my um, foundation, as you can see, probably. I just used Revlon Color Stay just because I felt like using that. So the first thing that you want to do is do your eyebrows because she has really, really defined eyebrows. And um, mine don't really look like that. So I'm going to just be using Maybelline's Ultra Brow Powder and an angled brush that looks like this. And you just want to start, I usually just start at the bottom. And you just want to do that on both sides. And then you want to do the top part. And it all depends on what your brow shape already is, but I want to go above mine a little bit. Just to make it a little more angled on the top. You can use a pencil too, but I think it's easier to use um, a powder so you have more control and it doesn't look so harsh when you're done. And you kind of just want to fill in a little bit. I'm not really good at doing eyebrows since I never ever do mine. And when I do, I just do it really quickly. So that's what I have. I'm just going to take a brush and just lightly go through it. Next thing you want to do is just take a um, brush like this and you just want to apply a color all over your lid. Um, just something neutral because she doesn't usually have a ton of color on her lid. Um, I'm just going to be using Naked. And it's just a really um, neutral color. Um, if, uh, if you have lighter skin, then this will probably be the same color as your eyelid, but it's a little bit lighter than mine since I have a little bit darker skin. And you want to just take the color right next to it, which is called Sin, and you want to put that um, in the inner corner. She usually has a bright inner corner. Oh my god, I cannot even see it in the bring this closer. Okay. And then you want to take a blending brush and use a crease color. She usually doesn't have a really defined crease. So I'm going to be using a color like Buck, which isn't too dark. If you have lighter skin again, um, take something a little bit lighter and I just want to sweep this in the crease gently. Just to create a little bit of depth but not a whole lot. And using a blending brush will make it less harsh anyway. Next, what you want to do is take a um, light, um, kind of like a bone color to do as your highlight. Am I using ones from the Coastal Sense palette? I'm going to be using this one up here. And I'm just going to be packing that underneath the brow bone. And I'm just blending it downward. Once you do that, you just want to take your blending brush again and just go over it so it's not harsh. So it's not just like white and then brown. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is 
do a little bit of winged liner. So what I'm going to do first is, where did you go? I'm going to take my L'Oreal Linear Intense Liner and just do this really quickly. And then we're going to go over it, so... Doesn't have to be perfect. But mine's drying out. really all you need to do because now we're just going to go over it and you just want to take any black color I'm using this black you can use any matte black that you want and then you're just gonna go over that because it's usually not as defined and this is just going to soften it up and also um, soften off the edges and then just make it nice and dark and it'll last longer if you put the powder on top of it. Okay, next what you want to do, where did it go? Oh. I want to take a gray color. I'm using this one right here. And just dip a pencil brush and you kind of just want to create a v-shape starting on the lash line and then working into your little crease you can see I'm doing like a V here like that Okay, then once again, you're going to take your blending brush, just blend that in. So then you don't have such like a harsh line. Same gray color, you just want to smudge that into the lash line, the lower lash line. So now I'm just going to line my lips using Maybelline's Toast. And you just want to make your cupid's bow kind of more defined. and then round it out. And then go under. And she usually does some sort of a brighter lip. Um, I don't have any red lipstick, but I'm going to use uh, Revlon's Pink Pop. And she does wear a bright pink lip sometimes. So I'm just going to put that over. And yeah, so that's the finished look, um, if you guys can see. And my hair is just parted down the middle because that's how she usually has it. I know this is not like an exact look, but this is just inspired, so keep that in mind. And yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys soon.